Woo! Communism. Communism. Yeah. Guys, we're the Communist Party, so you know what that means, right? What? We're gonna party. Oh yeah. Woo! Ain't nothing but a Communist Party. Ain't nothing but a Communist Party. Ain't nothing but a Communist Party. Yo, I'm a communist. That's what I do. So what's up, George? My life sucks. Aw, oh, that's okay, George. Things will turn out. Yeah, so how do you feel about this whole communism thing? Yeah, I would like it. Yeah. Uh, we should totally stop. Good idea. Dude, look, a bird! Bird noise says bird noise. Beautiful. Wow. Wow. Communists are bad! Oh no, what if they find out I'm a communist? No, they're not. If I'm going down, Alger hisses too. That's it. A communist. We're gonna get that guy. Let's go. Other hiss? Yes. Turn around. Wait, what? What's going on? You're under you're arrest for being communist. Wait, 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 wait. Who's accusing me? Your friend, Whitaker Chambers. I don't know Whitaker Chambers. So, were you and Algar his truly friends? Yes. Really? What were some things you guys like to do together? Bird watching. So, Algar Hiss, what are your hobbies? I love birds. Order at the court. When you left the Communist Party in 1937, did you approach any of the seven to three? No, the only one who, of those people whom I approached was Albert Hiss. I went to Hiss's home one evening at what I considered considerable risk to myself and found Mrs. Hiss at home. Mrs. Hiss is also a member of the Communist Party. Is this Albert Hiss? Mrs. Albert Hiss. Mrs. Donald Hiss. I believe. Mrs. Hiss attempted while I was there to make the call, which can only presume was to the other communists. But I quickly went to the telephone and she hung up. And Mr. Hiss came in shortly afterward. And we talked. And I tried to break him away from the party. As a matter of fact, he cried when we separated, when I left him but he absolutely refused to break. Did he cry? Yes, he did. I was very fond of Mr. Hiss. He must have given you some reason why he did not want to serve in the relationship. His reasons were simply the party line. And so, the trial continued. Chambers was accusing Hiss of being a communist and providing information to the Soviets while Hiss was denying the charges set against him, such as not recognizing Chambers because he changed his appearance from George Crossley. Alger Hiss even made a couple jokes in the courtroom regarding the similarity of Chambers to the chairman of the committee. So what do you think about the Alger Hiss case? Is he innocent or what? 
Well, we think he's guilty. I mean, there were papers found in a pumpkin. Who does that? Yeah, and in an interview, they both confirmed that they liked birds, so, like, they used to bird watch together. They verified that, too. First of all, those documents were planted by Whitaker Chambers, okay? Second of all, why would Whitaker Chambers have a new appearance in name? I mean, if you think about it, if Algar Hiss admitted to knowing Whitaker Chambers, that would imply that he was in the Communist Party, since Whitaker Chambers already admitted to being a former Communist member. So, how would that work? Also, in the interview with Algar Hiss, um, basically, Algar says that he doesn't recognize uh, Chambers, and that Chambers looks like general people, you know, a lot of people back in the day. Even maybe the chairman of the committee. Yeah. So. Communists, that's what I do. You want to share food? Well, me too. Yeah, now I'ma eat this bread. Do what we're told, and then go to bed. I'm a communist, so my favorite color is red. Yeah. Bird noise.